So we're going to provide more about the, the insight of how you can start to work with uh, EOS, like Meta, Meta VMS, but we're going to change the name. So today, um, there will be several sections. The first one, we're going to tell you about uh, how, where, how you can download and where you can install it, what kind of uh, platform, what kind of OS we're going to work. Then we're going to show you a little bit about the user interface of the EOS client. And then the most exciting things was going to show you the, the integration will be done as a demonstration. Um, so the whole session we're going to be 25, 30 minutes around. We don't want to make the session too long because you can have more time to, to play with that EVOS. And of course, uh, we're here, the judge, the, the mentor uh, will be always online. And we use the Slack channel. So if you have any question, we are happy to help you either online or you can just send us the video then explain all the issues or any questions you would like to ask at any stage. Idea submissions, developing, uh, troubleshooting, or whatever. So uh, we're here to help Hackathon, uh, Hack Earth and NX Windows. So let's start for a little bit earlier. Or is it, I think it's 35. Okay. So we're going to start right now. Uh, if anyone joined, then we are able to let them to see the, the record. So first of all, the EVOS right now, the, the software. So as you may know, we can just download that from the metavms.com, which is the portal to let you know all the things about what we're going to have, where you can download it, what is the resource. So the first thing is that you register the metavms, uh, meta.nxvms.com. So if you have your own account, we're just logging. Then you will see the resource on the top. And for developer, of course, there's a special section and a special article and some integration samples for you. So let's go start from resource, right? So you can just see different uh, versions or download a beta one, or if you have some kind of testing, you need a, a old one, or you have you, you already see some bugs, then we already fixed it, you want to patch one. So it's literally like a general software release, right? So this is how your, your uh, your start point with the NXV EVOS. So first of all, we usually suggest people to download the release one, which is the most stable as any other software. And as you can see, we have, we support Windows, we support Linux, we also support ARM. And if you want to use some client on Mac OS like me, so you can always have the, the proper version and proper uh, software to download it. And also, if you want to look more about the SDK, you want to see if there's a mobile, we all provide it here. So what you can, where you can start is here at the portal, NX Meta VMS. So you can just jump in. We call it developer portal. Okay. So once you log in, you can able to download it. So let's download the Windows one or Linux one as a sample. I use the Windows one as a demonstration. So when you download that, there's just a package, then you can just double click and install every general application. When you finish that, you can use the NS client, uh, NX Meta client to see it, to log in. That. Right, so that, let's just try to understand the, the difference between NX Windows and EVOS. So EVOS is kind of developer portal or platform for you, which is a little bit ahead of NS Windows. NS Windows is actually a consumer product, right? So it's very stable, it's very lightweight, you have a lot of features. And EVOS is actually provide exactly the same features, but more advanced for the developer. So you will know a little bit new things on ahead. You will see a little bit experience the features. You will see more about the developer friendly features or developer friendly uh, article for that. So any uh, developer or anyone would like to know what exactly happened, I will sincerely suggest you can just download the NX Meta VMS. And especially the good thing is it's for free, right? So you can just download that and try to look around it. Once you download and install that, then you can just start to configure that. So all the process you done on Meta VMS is exactly identical with the NX Windows. So you can kind of experience exactly the real user, how they're gonna work and what, what kind of things you want the, the user to experience that. The only thing different is like the Meta VM, uh, the EVOS is not a consumer product, it's a developer platform, right? So this is only different for that. Once you install that, so you log in, 
Um, we can see that exactly like UI. So the UI is very similar to NS Windows. Uh, as you already know, we can make the camera be recorded. We can set up some rules engines. We can uh, play the video. We can use connect to the cloud. So everything you can see on NS Linux is literally the same on EBOS. So here, uh, we would like to see, show you more about the, the, the integration ones. So for example, uh, you added a, a, a camera, which is as the object detection functions. So you want to see the exactly object overlay on a several uh, on a camera. So you, let's see here. Um, let me show you here. Okay. So when you search that, you can actually see. Let me show you. Uh, hey, uh, in case you're sharing your screen, uh, it's not shared. Just letting you know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let me show you the. Let me share the screen. Sorry, I forgot to share the screen. Let me do this right away. Uh, share the screen. Screen. Yeah, it's right there in the middle. The yeah. green icon. Mm -hmm. Can you see my screen now? Uh, not yet. Uh, if you're using multiple monitor, maybe uh, you need to select the right screen because we don't see anything on screen right now. Yeah, so after... I'm trying to share the screen, but it looks like um see oh yeah okay yeah it's visible yeah. now it's about uh, the commission yeah um yeah uh is so right now i can see a picture of a room is that it? yeah exactly yes all right got it you can see that right so yeah okay so uh when we install that we open up let's try to do a little forward so when you can download it from the meta nxbs.com so i'm gonna say you can just log in and when you install it it's just like a very simple, just double click, then you can start to install it, right? So it's similar to every single like general consumer products for installation. So it takes you like a minute, then you start to have a play form that you can play with. Once you install that, and then you can just open the NX Meta client. Like we say, you can use it on Windows, you can use it on Linux, you can use it on Mac, which is all the same. So we're trying to make the user experience very similar on different play form which is you can provide exactly the same user experience for your user, no matter what they are using, they are using Linux, they are using Mac, or they are using Windows. So uh, once we install and configure that, you can install, uh, you open the client and log into a system, then you can start to think about what kind of things you would like to do. So for example, you have a camera, right? So it's pretty powerful one, or you have a really good software, they can do some object detection. Then you would like to see those video. You can pull the video from somewhere, send to your uh, your software, then do some analysis. Then you want to show those analysis, right? We know uh, most important thing is usually is that the video is how we read that video, right? So for example, you, you have a, a, a very good software to recognize the people. Right, so they can re recognize their face, you can recognize the, the traffic, you can recognize the, the gender, whatever. But for us, we can read the video. People can read that. But if there is some kind of things that we can automatically do it or, or uh, make things automatically be recognized and alert us, so which is very good, right? So it's not just for the surveillance, also for a lot of different applications, maybe for the retail, for the consumer. So we call it as like a metadata. That's very important for us. That's the main goal of our hackathon. We would like to see people can utilize those video to train your own model to, to provide a, some kind of innovative application. So for example, what we can do is like here, um, let's see if I can find a good one. Um, so for example, So for 
example, this is a general camera, right? So we would like to see if there's any people coming. So once you have the metadata, we can do this. Like you can search, you have your own plugin. That's the plugin. The plugin is actually the tools that you develop, which is your main idea, main innovate idea for that. So how you can use those video, how you can use the, the source of data, then try to interpret that, to read that, to make sure that everything you can see is literally can be trained and can be um, developed as a model to help people to do it. So for example, you do object classification. So we would like to see if there's any car on that. Uh, you can search a people, then once the people come across, go through everywhere, then do you want to let alert me or alert some people as a security things, right? So that's a very general use case. But as we can see, uh, we, we do a lot of on surveillance, but if there's any more things, for example, if it's a retail, we have this, already have the security footage already there, but we would like to see if, how the people go through on the right or, or people go through usually left. If right side more, so we want to put our hot sell things on the right. So we need to have those data, right? So we have the video, but we need someone to, to help us to recognize which area is better. So for example, if there's a, for example, this is um, uh, an area. So on the right side, we have sofa. On the left hand side, we have the entrance. So if there's a people go across, we can recognize the people, of course. We can recognize if that is a man, is a female, uh, if they're wearing long sleeve shirts, if they have glass, they have hat, whatever. This is very general things. But what if, we can kind of use your idea. We can recognize if people sit this sofa more or sit this sofa more. So then we can try to understand if the product quality is good. So for example, this chair has been sit for like a million times. This chair has been sit for like 50 times, right? So we can understand what, what kind of testing or data, then we can recognize or read or extract what we want to know from video by some kind of idea you can develop that. So to doing this, you can pull the video. So usually we need a lot of camera, right? We need a lot of footage source or, or video source or footage. So you need to deal with a lot of different kind of uh, camera brand, right? So what we can help you is like we already have those video. We already have those good API, good SDK then you can just use those playful tools to pull those those training source the data that you want to train the data you want to see the the, the source data the exactly the, the original one then you can extract the, the the exactly the detail for example the people uh the area or the line or the light or or recognize the the words on on, on logo so you can see exactly the detailed data from those um, video footage that you already we already help you to record that so you can extract them and kind of analysis or try to do your own your own way your your own idea to to innovate to to find something we don't know or it's already in the video but you can present them and display them better so for example uh we have a woman go over across so for example in this, if, if this is a retail then you can tell us that is that the people go right or go left then you can kind of understand we should make the right side or left side re innovate or construct in certain way to to let the retail get better sales so we want to people to to find the, the application or the usage or utilize those video to to make the different kind of application. So for example, uh, as far as I know, someone asked on the Slack if we can do some called uh, traffic management system. Of course you can do it. For example, this is a line, right? So if there's a red line, if there's a traffic violations, if people sit here to read that video, we can understand. But what we want is we can have a bunch of good developer, good ideas to use that traffic 
or a stream video, surveillance video, to help us to, to recognize the traffic, to understand the different trend of the traffic. For example, people go right more, uh, 5 a.m. 5 to 7 a.m. is more, have less traffic, and 10 a.m. to 12 a.m., 12 p.m. have more traffic. So you can literally have those data extracted from those video and then become your own plugin. So uh, we kind of understand uh, this kind of um, application. So now we're going to introduce a little bit more about what exactly the, the, the architect of this software. So we literally have this kind of architectures. So we have the cloud admin. We have, um, sorry. We have NX Cloud, which is help you to connect different systems from different places. We have the third-party uh, integration that could, could legacy our NX Cloud to extract those videos. So for example, you have cloud storage, you want to put uh, some kind of alert or event footage on that, or you will have your own face recognition. Uh, you have a satellite office somewhere, you would like to see those videos from the, the satellite office, then do some face recognition. That's all possible to do. Or um, you want to display some kind of later. I'm going to show you the the web page or the presentations of your result. That is also possible. So uh, we not just provide how you display it. We also provide a very strong uh, media engine. We call it EVOS. So we, we work with a lot of camera brands. So no matter uh, which camera brand or surveillance camera you already have, you can always have. And next server be installed, then you can start to collect those most important raw data that you want to use. Right? So usually uh, we know if you want to do some data things, you want analysis or something, the most important things or, or the, the raw data is most important. Right? So you, if you don't have good enough raw data, you don't have a lot of raw data, then when you train and you have some bias, you may you may some uh, your, your model may be not so good. Right. So what we're trying to do, the EVOS is going to help you to collect those raw data, the original data. So you don't need to worry about those data, but just focus on how you can utilize those data and use your own idea to try to find tiny things, innovate things, uh, great things from the video. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's analysis, maybe it's an area, maybe it's a circuit map. Whatever you can think about it, once you can use those data quite, uh, quite, quite good, quite, quite knowledgeably, then it is a good idea for us. So we provide actually a play which can provide you some good raw data, uh, specifically in video. Then what you need to do is you use your, your your training model. You use your your idea. You use your tools. You use your um, your algorithm to help us to reuse or uh, try to find the detail to utilize those video we already collect become data, which is meaningful data for different segment. It could be traffic, it could be retail, it could be of course surveillance, or maybe you have different ideas. Right, so we encourage everyone to to try that. It's like um, we already have a lot of good food, good technology, good way, good good practice to collect the raw video. But we need some more people like brainstorming to help us to to find a good way to utilize them. So you don't need to worry about how to collect. You don't need to worry about how to store the footage. You don't need to worry about how to alert the people because we have a very good rich uh, desktop client to let your people, let your, your user to see the presentation uh, of, your, of, your, of your analysis result. But what we need is we need a, very diff a lot of different utilize, uh, applications, different kind of uh, idea to use that video. That's what we, the, the purpose, the main purpose, and we encourage everyone to join the hack though to help us on that. So uh, now we have the server, we have the, 
the client to, to present. We have the storage to keep those video. We also provide a cloud storage if you want to send those video to, to somewhere to keep it. And the most important thing for most of the people is like how we can automatically go and do something. So for example, we, we know there's a, a, a event. We know there's a traffic. Some people tell us, tell us we want to make a, a traffic management system. Just of course, it's possible. But if you read an event, right? So for example, you read an event, so some people violate or something, someone need help. How we can do that? So NX Witness or the NX EVOS can literally help you to connect these those together. So we have the video. You have an idea to read or recognize some events or read some data. Then we need some actions, right? So for example, uh, you want to open the gate, you want to open the door, can for a lot of people to get in to, or, or maybe lock some people or lock some area. You don't want everyone to get in. So I think we at uh, EVO is literally provide that kind of integrations or extra features for that. So for example, I can show you that this is uh, we have a, a office in several places in Taipei, for example. So uh, let's see. So for example, these are people come here, recognize the face, right? So when they, re when we, if that is an NX stuff, so we, sh we should open the door to let it come in. If that is a customer or it's a deliver, so when it come, comes here, you can recognize the face, oh, this is not the, the people that we usually let them in, but it's a deliver, so we can actually open the, the, the door or, or the gate for them. So we can actually provide something called software trigger. Software trigger is actually send out a HTTP request or send out a signal to some devices. Maybe it's a, a network devices, a smart door or smart doorbell or smart uh, smoke detector. So you can actually, when you work with the HTTP, you can connect to the, the, the network, then we can literally help you to put all the things together, the video, the analysis, your idea, uh, the actions, right? So the action could be open the door, ring a alarm, or, or even speak, right? So if you have a module that can speak some greeting words when someone come in, or you want to have an action, it's like change the, the name on, on, the, on the display uh, when someone come in. So for example, this is a software trigger, and when I, Click here. This is a uh, office in Taipei. I'm um, connected via the internet. We call it NS Cloud. So I can literally open the door in Taipei by clicking the button in somewhere not in Taipei, right? So you can remotely open the door, remotely open the gate, or remotely to to help people to do by in actions. Once you have a analysis, so what we need to do is we would like to have your video. Oh, sorry, we, ha we have the raw video and have your idea, then we can have an action to do it. So NX EVOS help you to collect the video, help you to integrate those the devices or log or something like that by network. But we need you to have those quite important concepts in between. Read the video, do some analysis, do some utilizations, then can send out. It, it, it does not necessary to be an action. It could be a presentation, like uh, you want to show some map, you want to show some kind of a hotspot or, or heat map on, on that. So for example, we can do it like uh, this. Uh, let's see this, maybe it's a map like this. So this is a graphic, right? So when you have this, it's you maybe have a several different satellite office or someone say this is a traffic management system. You have your system across the world. So you can literally work with NX Witness like you made up your own web page with a data data analysis result. You come here, then when you click, then we can help you. This is just our in client web browser, right? So you can literally de develop your own web page or web service then show the people on 
on the page. So they don't need to switch back and forth on different like surveillance system. And then it's a data scientist uh, play form. Then it's another the alarm system. You can actually help them to put all the application all together. Um, so for example, I can zoom in, like change to 3D uh, open. This is actually a open stream map. So if you want to use any open source, we're happy to help you, right? So it's just a web page, so you can actually use this. Um, so for example, I have this 11 sites. So 11 satellite office will have 126 camera across the wall, uh, across your, your regions to do it, and several speakers, something like this. And this is actually doable by your own. So you can actually develop your own one. One thing is a web service, is a web page. You can always put them on on Alex Willis uh, or EBOS client to see that. Uh, if this is a camera, then you can see the thumbnail. When I click that, it can just zoom in to tell me where exactly the the the, the camera it is. It could be your. It, it's not necessarily to be an, an office. Uh, maybe it's a, a traffic light. Maybe it's a, a box somewhere. So. If you are a telecom company, you want to use the video to see um, if my phone box is my routers, where I can manage that. Once they are able to be present on the web page made by you, then you can just display them on this kind of um, uh, client to help your user to to put all everything all together. They can see the video, they can see your your, your plugin, they can see your your data analysis result, they can have the trigger action. We want to find a, a kind of a user journey, put them all together. So we need someone to help us to innovate the, the new usage or application. Uh, another another example would be like this, uh, like we say, this is a map, right? So if you, for example, um, this is heat map. So we have more hot corner on US, we have hot corner in Europe, we have less corner on, on a, in Asia. So for information, this is a fake data, right? So we just feed them as a demonstration. So once you have those raw data, so you can actually make this kind of uh, a heat map. So you have more activations on Europe, you have more activations in, in Australia like this. And we say activation is like when you can see like literally uh, where it is because you have the IP address, you can see it. Uh, you have different partners, so for example, Hanwha, so, and then you can see the license activation is different. So you can see the color is being changed and how they're gonna work. So uh, the integrations on this, you can actually see that it's possible and we not just provide the the, the functionality or the feature that you can work with the, exactly the server. We also provide the uh, functionality. You can work with this kind of a client, not just um, display on the right side, for example, people or the overlay. We also provide, we call it JS API. So it's a JavaScript. So you can literally work with this client. So for example, like this, um, So when you have the video, and you can just click that, then it will help you to open the exactly the video footage for us. So, uh, for example, I can click here or click. Here and open it, right? So you can interact with your web page and the NS client all together. So this is how the EV OS developer uh, tools do for work. So this is uh, another one, so you can open it. So uh, we provide several interaction actions, features, not just to the server, but also for the, the client. So you can make your own web pages and try to interact with those whole full uh, product, different components. But what we, what, what we can what we encourage people to do is if you have any idea that you can utilize this kind of uh, data 
you can use kind of footage to collect the tiny information, aggregate information, and make everything together, which is very good for different segment, different kind of uh, industrial or different application, which is the most important thing for, for you and for us. So uh, the transition today is more about to tell you how to, where to download it, uh, what you might be can do it, and what is the most important thing for us that we want to see in this hackathon. And of course, we focus on the data analysis, then object detections, training model, whatever. So anything related it is very important, and we encourage everyone can try that. So uh, hopefully this one, uh, the architecture and everything could be a little bit like, inspire you to, to see what you might want to do and you can do it. So for more detail, uh, definitely we provide you the document. So when, like we say, you can just go down, down here and then for developer, we have several knowledge base. So what is possible or what kind of tool you already have and we can provide it or you want to have some kind of step-by-step -step on the first. So there's a how to start guide, uh, what kind of technology we already support. And of course, there's some kind of example, simple code like this, and authentication something. And other article is like what kind of browser that we can use. So uh, a lot of information and resource can be uh, downloaded or checked on this developer portal. So we're gonna send you for in all of this uh, resource in the Slack channel, so we can quickly access that. So for API, yeah, of course we can have the API documentation. So you can just click that and see uh, which API you can use. What is the detail for that? If that is uh, uh, the schema of the exactly API should be, and what is the response? And if you have any question, of course, you can ask it in Slack, but we also provide some kind of developer forum. So you can send out like any post, I have some questions that we would want somebody to help us. And if there's any, you can also search that. So for example, I would like to know if there's a web in something like this. So maybe if some question has been asked, you can quickly find exactly answer for that to, to see what it, uh, whatever you need. Uh, here, uh, the thing we would like to introduce is the knowledge base and API, doc API documentation, the support for you. So um, my, my idea is like that if possible, you just download this and try to play with it and make your video ready and start to kind of think about uh, what kind of video data action can be combined together. So for example, like this, you can have some heat map, you can make your own satellite, uh, oh, sorry, you can make your own web page about that or make some plugin you want to recognize people. Uh, some people have already have a very good idea like a traffic management system. Or some people maybe like to do some construction, right? So as you can see, we have the open map integration. So if you're on the construction site and you have a several project, uh, been done several uh, several projects been going uh, concurrently, then you will be able to track that, which is a good one. If you can utilize those videos, you try to extract the data or train something, the AI, uh, maybe some uh, detailed information numbers or make the decision for them, try to forecast uh, how long we're gonna need for this project, and what is the exactly time for the traffic. You can show them the, the graph, everything. So uh, my my suggestion is just download it, uh, make some kind of play with that, and have a general idea of what exactly they can it can do. It might be able to help you to 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 make your idea more solid, and then you can maybe you can have some more uh, kind of idea to see if there's any other things that you can do. So welcome to ask uh, any question, no matter which stage, uh, idea submissions, brainstorming, uh, developer, troubleshooting, or function, or, or component, or download everything. We are here to help. 
Um, yeah, that's it. So today, the, the, the session is like to introduce you the, the EVO as Meta Playful, Developer Playful, where to download, what kind of things you might be able to do, and what is the architecture it is, and show you some example, show you some uh, we already have here today. So welcome any innovate idea, and welcome anyone, welcome any question. So we are here to help. Thank you very much.